Well, despite the rain, the United Way is hosting its Saturday of Caring Today. The nonprofit teamed up with the Moransky family to make sure families in the valley have food for the holidays. Our first news reporter, Hannah Erdman, is live in Boardman where it's happening. Hannah, good morning. It got amazing this morning. I mean, you see all the volunteers. I mean, within a half hour of us being on air, you can see all the volunteers getting ready to pass out food today. I'm here with Roxanne with the United Way. How is this going so far this morning? Uh, really well. Like uh, I was out here at 6.30, and like you said, within an hour, we had a small army of volunteers showing up, um, starting to set it up. We're going to be packing the food. The first half of the morning, we send out 400 deliveries. So that's 400 homes that are seniors, shut-ins, families that can't get out or should not be out because of the pandemic. We started this back in April of 2020, right in the middle of COVID. Uh, we went eight weeks straight, and then we started going every third Saturday. So this is part of our monthly food giveaway. But this month is obviously a little special because we added um, 600 that are going to drive up and get the food. Um, so we opened it up to our schools, our nonprofit partners. You do have to register, so you have to be registered to come through. Um, so they're going to come through and get some really good food. So it's kind of a two-fold event today. Um, we expanded it. We're going to feed 1,000 families or 6,000 people. So um, we really, you know, we couldn't do this out either without the Moransky family who's allowing us to be out here today. And I mean, you kind of touched on it with the pandemic and stuff, but why is it so important to have these events monthly? So, you know, we noticed a gap in services. So when we started seeing all the great food pantries popping up, we noticed some people, they couldn't get out. They should not get out. You know, I take care of a lady myself, and she doesn't have a way. She doesn't have a car. She's in a wheelchair. She needs she needs even friendship. So a lot of these people come out, and they deliver to these families right to their door. A lot of senior shut-ins, they're afraid to get out still. They can't get out because of health reasons. So it's really important that we're able to do that. And we partnered with a lot of our nonprofit partners and they just don't have the capacity to do this and we do I mean you see these volunteers it's like just all these uh, this army of volunteers literally coming out and we're able to do that to help these individuals that's definitely going to be a great way to make sure that everyone in the valley is fed not only during the holiday season but each and every day for now live in Boardman Hannah Erdman first news Saturday morning